Hello Aries, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. Personal readings are on sale right now. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $25 or an hour Zoom reading for $55 and everything that you'll need to know is in that description box for you. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The overall energy of your love situation this week, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. The energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, their current feelings towards you, we have the Seven of Swords. Their intentions, the Knight of Wands. And their next actions and behaviors towards you this week, we have the King of Swords. I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I do feel like there is uh, an offer being presented to you or there's some kind of potential and opportunity here. But I don't know, Aries. We're going we're gonna to clarify it and see, but I'm not a fan of the Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands combination. To me, in this King of Swords even, it kind of feels like somebody has an agenda, okay? It's like they have something here that they are trying to accomplish. So they could be coming towards you with some kind of offer or wanting, like, you know, wanting to come back into your life here. But I do feel like they have an agenda. To me, with the Knight of Wands as their intentions, they could be moving towards you pretty quickly here. But to me, the Knight of Wands is also a card of desires. Um, I feel like they do have something that they want here, okay? And the Knight of Wands can be somebody who's inconsistent on and off, in and out, you know? So they may... They may already be coming towards you knowing that it's just temporary, right? It's just because of something that they want from you here. And that's why I feel. I feel like they're not being very honest with you about their intentions up front, okay? They could definitely be presenting it in a, in a different light. Show me Aries' energy towards this person. What are Aries' feelings towards them? We have the Justice card. You have the page of wands for your intentions. In your actions and behaviors towards them this week, we have the hair font. So we have the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck here as well. We're going to grab your challenge and the challenge between the two of you and the potential outcome as well. The challenge between the two of you is this ace of cups. And the potential outcome, we have the king of cups. All right, Aries, I'm definitely going to want to clarify some of these, but I do feel like somebody's moving towards you here pretty quickly this week. I feel like they do have, like I said, I feel like they do have an agenda, and they may not be very be very um, upfront with you about what their real intentions are this week, okay? So there's something that they do want from you, but they are not letting you know that. They may be coming in under a different pretense. They may be coming in under the pretense of wanting to like make amends with you or make something right with you here, apologize to you even, okay, with this justice card being present. And I definitely feel like you're the one receiving the communication, okay? So I feel like you're going to be receiving the message from them here with this page of wands. And the page of wands can be a card of figuring out what the next step is. You know, there is some interest and curiosity here. You may be curious about what this person has to say. Um, we're going to take a look and see what's going on. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Got the Nine of Cups and the Justice card. So they know that you're wanting some kind of closure or an apology here. Or they could feel like you want that here. And I feel like they're coming towards you, you know, wanting to give that to you. Wanting to give that closure or, you know, they're making amends, making things right. But like I said, I do feel like... I feel like they're doing that for the wrong reasons. They're, they're coming forward and they could be apologizing to you, right? Um, they could be giving you some kind of explanation or closure. So even though they're doing a good thing, I don't think they're, they're doing it for a good reason. Okay, so I hope that that makes sense. I'm getting these all flipped around now. Right. Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy. Why is that here? Got the Nine of Wands. 
They also know that you kind of are on guard, maybe that you fully don't trust them. They have the moon card here. I do feel like there is something that they don't want you to find out, okay? And to me, this Nine of Wands is like, you know, it's a continued effort here. And with this Moon card, I feel like they're going to continue to try to keep something a secret from you here. So they definitely have something that they don't want you to know going on behind the scenes. Tell me about this King of Swords. Got the Empress here and the Knight of Wands. I do feel like this person, you know, they have some pretty high thoughts about you here, Aries. Like they see you, like they see you as somebody who like really has their stuff together or it's like somebody who's very compassionate. Like they just think there's a lot of good qualities and good attributes that they can like put towards you, right? That they see you that way. Um, but with this knight, this king of swords here, like I definitely feel that somebody's still very emotionally detached. Um, they're just, they're seeing this as the wisest course. Okay, so to me, it's like they definitely have uh, something that they want here. And I also feel like there's something here that they're trying to keep secret from you. So there's definitely something they don't want you to find out. Tell me about this Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? Got the Page of Pentacles. So you're hearing, like, you're, this is very positive communication that you're getting. Whatever this person is saying to you, you know, it, it's an apology and it seems very positive. I think part of you could be kind of happy about it. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Feeling like you're finally feeling valued or seen. Somebody could be expressing to you that, you know, they, they realize now how much value you added to their life or how good you were to them or how much you cared for them. Like, I feel like they're, they're giving you that validation that you've always deserved, okay? Um, it's like they're finally recognizing that here. They're expressing that to you. Tell me about this page of wands. Got this knight of pentacles in the reverse. And you felt like this was a, like you felt like this maybe wasn't going to happen or um, is a long time coming with that knight of pentacles in the reverse. But with the knight of pentacles in the reverse as well, I feel like you're not really sure how to handle it. Um, the knight of pentacles can be, you know, figuring out what the next step is, the next move. It's a very thought out. Um, I feel like you're maybe like, you know what, I don't, I don't know what my next step or my next move should be. You could feel like... I don't feel like you expect, expected these words from this person. Tell me about this Hierophant. But we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Temperance card in the reverse. The thing is, though, you now this is going to take the, just take what's for you for you and what's not for you leave for somebody else. This is a general reading. So not all of it has to, you know, fit. You don't try to force things to fit if it's not for you. Um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like... You do see through this, okay? Um, even though I think it may be kind of emotional for you, it may bring up a lot of emotions in you for you to, you know, the, uh, it, the Ace of Cups is emotions overflowing. And, you know, hearing this person say these things that, you know, you've wanted to hear them say, giving you the recognition and the appreciation and the validation um, that you've deserved, right? This apology, this closure, <sighs> I think it's a mixed bag. I think it, it does bring up a lot in you. And on some hands, I think it's very, um, you know, it's, it's very good for you to hear this. Uh, at the same time, I think that you see through this person. I think a lot of you guys intuitively know that there's, this person must want something or that there's something that you don't know. Like you can tell something's up here. Because this commitment, and originally before I clarified, or clarified it, I kind of thought that maybe it was, you know, recommitting to the situation. But for a lot of you guys, even though for some of you guys, it may be that maybe you guys are choosing to take this apology here and you know like this wow this is what I was waiting for and taking this apology here and with the seven of swords in the reverse and recommitting some of you guys could be doing that and only you guys get to decide what's best for you for others of you guys I think you guys have made a commitment to yourself like you know what no I'm not going back to that I'm not putting myself in that situation again or in that relationship again or in relationships like that again you know and the temperance card in the reverse to me can be a card of you know, no more waiting, no more putting, um, like recognizing that something hasn't changed, okay? And um, the Seven of Swords to me can be an apology, okay? 
Um, so even though I feel like you're getting that apology, I think you're recognizing that something hasn't changed with this person. Some of you guys, the commitment that's here is the commitment that, commitment that you've made to yourself of, you know what, no, I'm not going backwards. I'm not going back to that. Now, so just take it how it resonates. Some of you guys, I feel like you very well could, and only you guys know what's best for you, okay? But either way, I don't feel like you're letting this, even though it's an emotional situation, with that king of cups being the outcome, I don't think you guys are letting it take you outside of yourself. So it looks like it's going to be a big week, Aries. But that is what I have for you. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here and for supporting me, and I will see you soon.